Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of squares and square roots, we shall be taking word problems based on squares and square roots. So let's start. The first question is, in a lecture hall, 8649 students are sitting in such a manner that there are as many students in a row as there are rows in the lecture hall. How many students are there in each row of the lecture hall. Now suppose we say that there are four rows in the lecture hall 1, 2, 3 and 4 right and number of students sitting in each row will also be 4 because they are saying that students are arranged in such a way that number of students in the row are equal to the number of rows in the lecture hall. So if there are four rows so four students are sitting in each row over here also four students in the third row also four students in the fourth row also four students are sitting so four plus four plus four plus four total will be 16 yes so isn't it a square form four into four we can say is equal to 16 right so basically we can say a into a is equal to a square Right. So we can assume over here, let the number of students in each row be A and the number of rows be A. Okay. Because number of students in each row be A. So number of rows are also A. Right. Now total number of students is number of rows into number of students in each row. We know that number of rows are A. Number of students in each row are A. So total number of students will be A square which is given to us in the question 8649. Now we can say a square is 8649 and if we have to find a that is number of rows or we have to find how many uh, students are sitting in each row. So we have to find a value of a which is square root of 8649. So basically we have to find square root of 8649. We can use any method to solve it we can use prime factorization or we can use long division method over here I have used long division method to solve right now let us start with long division method the first step is to form the pairs starting from once digit so first pair or you can say period is 49 then we have 86 now the leftmost period is 86 so we shall start with 86 and now we have to think of a largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 86 so clearly we can say 9 into 9 is 81 86 minus 81 is 5 further bring down the next period 49 so now new dividend we have is 549 now for 549 we need a divisor so we shall take the first question and we will double it 9 into 2 is 18 now keep a blank over here and think of a number what should come over here and the same number we will put as a question and the product sh we should get exactly equal to 549 so after trials I got the suitable number 3 so 183 multiplied by 3 I will get the product exactly equal to 549 remainder I shall get 0 so I can say square root of 8649 is 93, right? Hence we can say number of students in each row are 93, right? Now let us take up second question. A general wishing to draw up his 64,019 men in a form of a square found that he had 10 men extra. Find the number of men in the front row. Now total number of men we have is 64,019. When general was arranging these men in the form of a square, he found that he has 10 extra men with him. That means these extra men cannot be arranged in that square form, right? So number of men which can be arranged will be 64,019 minus 10, that is 64,009. So 64,009 men can be arranged in the form of square. Now whenever we are arranging in a square, the total number of men and the total number of rows has to be same. So we shall assume let the total number of men in each row be A and total number of rows be A. Further total number of men will be number of men in each row into number of rows. Right. So we can say total number of men are 64,009 that is equal to A into A which is equal to A square. So A square is 
equal to 64,009. And if we have to find either the number of rows or in the question they have said find the number of men in each row or in the front row, we can say we have to find the value of A which is actually the square root of 64,009. Now to find the square root of 64,009, we can either use prime factorization method or long division method. So I think over here, depending on the numbers over here, 64,009, I think a long division method will be more suitable. So let's start. Now in long division method, the first step is to form the pairs. So we shall start forming the pairs from the ones digit. First pair or period is 0, 09, then we have 4, 0, then we have 6. Now we have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 6. That is the first period from the leftmost side, right? So over here, 2 into 2 is 4. Yes, we cannot have 3 because 3 into 3 will be 9, which is more than 6. So let us stick to 2. 2 into 2 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Further bring down the next period, 40. Now we have the new dividend, 240 over here, right? And we need a divisor. So we shall take the first question 2 and we will double it. 2 into 2 is 4. Put a blank over here. Now think of a number what should come in this blank and multiply by the same number so that we get a product which is exactly equal to or less than 240. So after trials I got a suitable number say 5. So 45 into 5 I will get 225 which is closer to 240. And further 240 minus 225 is 15. Bring down the next period 09. Now my new dividend over here is 1509 for which I need a divisor. So I will take the new question. Now the question available with me is 25 over here. So I will take 25. I will double it. 25 into 2 is 50. Leave a blank over here. Now think of a number what should come in this blank and same number I will put in the question so that when I get a product, it should be exactly equal to or less than 1509. Now, after trials, I got the suitable number as 3. So, 503 is my divisor. Question is 3. I am getting exactly the same number as the product 1509. Further, my remainder is 0. So, I can say the square root of 64,009 is 253, which is the question. Right. So hence the number of men in the front row or in each row is 253. If the question says how many number of men are there in each row, then also the answer is same number of men in each row or in the front row are 253. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video and understood both the word problems. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.